Final part of episode 196 is the Fantasy League that we've got going on. So, Peyton, anything we need to be aware of? Uh, not in particular, but if you always want to stay up to date, you should be heading to WWEFantasyLeague.com where you can see that Drew White's fucking shitheaded losers are still not doing too good. They're they're in last place. Not too far ahead of them is Steven Wago's Ricky the Team Boat, recently renamed to the what? The Rinking. Oh, I thought it might have been PCB. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're still in fourth place with 517. Sean Walker's New Face of Gravity in third. Tony Mango's Tony's Tykes 2 in second. And my team, our time is now in first place with 816. This is the last chance we're going to have to make any trades before the SummerSlam event and before the waiver wire resets itself. So an important time to get some trades in here. I think Drew would want to be here. For some reason he's not. Uh, so I'm looking at the waiver wire here. Drew is first, but since he's not here, he's forfeiting. So Wago, you got first dibs this week. I'm good. Can I change my team name to Team Beardu? Beardu? However that fucking guy says beer, it's creepy as fuck. Um, I'll look it up, how to spell it. I'm sure it's in the comments somewhere. <laughs> I'll try uh, to spell it with a lot of eyes. So Sean will be next. Nothing on his part was given to me. So Tony, anything from you? Nope, sticking with my same team. All right, well, brings it to me. I'm not looking to trade anything either. So, surprisingly, nothing going on here as we head into SummerSlam. As I said, pay attention to WEFantasyLeague.com for all the scores, rosters, rules, all the things related to this, because you could bet there's going to be some big point changes going down after SummerSlam. Better be on my end. God damn it. Or else I'm going to hack my team up to pieces. Well, you already got rid of New Day. Yeah. Yeah. Still sad about that. So, plug time. Away go. StephenWayGo.com. Check out the links, and you will find awesome things. And Payton. At M-R-P-A-D-E-N. That's Mr. Payton on Twitter to find out all about my projects I got going down. Most importantly, if you're a wrestling fan, you should be joining us live every single Monday night following the conclusion of Raw. We go live on MegapowersRadio.com for the most interactive post-Raw experience available. Tune in. Join us on phones, chat rooms, Twitters, and all that other fun shtick going down. And on my end of things, make sure you guys check out fanboysanonymous.com. Watch out for any potential episodes of the All Talk Show. Make sure you go check out everything that's happening on smartoutmoment.com because we always have new articles popping up there. And this weekend is going to be a pain in the ass for me. But at the same time, it's going to be fun because we've got NXT, we've got SummerSlam. Both those two... What you do? What's that? Hmm? <laughs> I thought there was like some kind of like, what? Something's happening. No, I was rubbing my nose. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so, wait, were you talking to yourself when you're rubbing your nose? No, like it just made like a noise. <laughs> just like rubbing my nose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make sure you check out the live coverage of NXT TakeOver Brooklyn and SummerSlam. Chat on the sidebar chat that we've got at smartcoutmoment.com. Leave those comments and all the other kind of stuff like that we've got going. Next week, we are going to be reviewing the pay-per-view of SummerSlam. I don't know exactly if we're going to have time to review TakeOver, but maybe we'll just, you know, give some thoughts about that on, like, uh, you know, some kind of special or something like that. The next time I'm going to be talking to you guys is going to be later on this week when we talk about the next round of the Hottest Divas and Superstars Tournament. So make sure you get those votes in as soon as possible because those will shut off Thursday night. We only have a couple matches, so not too much uh, to take your time out for. So that'll be it for episode 196 for Mike Payton, for Stephen Wago, for Drew White's couple of parts that he was in here. Fuck Drew. And the other people that can't be here tonight, thank you guys for listening. This has been another Smark Out moment, and we're being counted out. I now have seen the glory of the outro, my lord. Sometimes they're rather sucky and can be quite a bore. However, when my head is down, I turn into the show and skip to the end just so I can watch the next outro. True. if you want to like work hard on lyrics, at least, like, have some performance.
Oh, my bad. Shit, that's still better than you going. Look at this, and I'm kind of more robotic than Wago was. <laughs> that was the point.